What is going on guys? I am Laserboard and welcome to another DMC video guys. In today's video, I am going to be teaching you guys a secret setting that is going to totally change the way you play DMC. This is going to have you going from a Novik to a Pro just by changing this one setting. Not only is it going to be make you a better player, it's going to make you a better teammate and it's going to allow you to get information faster than you currently are getting that information. So if you like how this sounds and want to know what this secret feature is, a like would be greatly appreciated. Let's get this video to a thousand likes. I'm hoping crossing my fingers. Come on, let's make it happen. So what exactly is this secret setting? that we're gonna be talking about, guys. This is part of my academy on helping you become a better DMC player, a solo player, and just overall, just enjoy DMC more and just be a better teammate, a better player, and stay alive longer so you could exfil every time you play the game. Now, I know some of you guys are currently right now watching the gameplay, and I already have the setting change, but I wanna know how many of you guys actually noticed what has changed within the settings. Come on, guys. If you notice, put hashtag notice. So if you guys already know without me mentioning the setting, what is it that we exactly change? So I know you guys are very keen to die. Now, if you don't know what exactly changed, put hashtag don't know. So you guys, uh, we know how many people actually knew about the setting or don't know about the setting in particular. So what exactly are we talking about and what have we changed in here? Well, but let me tell you guys, before I tell you what we changed, I'm going to tell you exactly what the setting does and why it's so secret and not so many people know about it. And the majority of people that know about it are only pros in the Call of Duty community. Now, what the setting is going to do, it's going to help you get information a lot faster and a lot quicker than you're currently grabbing the information from now when you're fighting enemies. And that is going to be a huge advantage because you're going to know when your teammate needs plates. You're going to know when your teammate is down. You're going to know when your teammate is resting. You're also going to be able to notice when there is more ads if they're popping up in the UAV. You're also going to notice if you're missing, if you have all your grenades, if you're missing your grenades. You're also going to be able to notice when there's more enemies active in the battlefield, when there's less enemies active in the battlefield. So you're going to know all of that, guys. So what we're going to be doing right now is I'm going to go ahead and get this gameplay going. As you guys see right here, we have a couple ads. We're going to take them out. We came in here without a gun. So we're going to take these dudes out real quick. And I'll tell you guys exactly what the setting is so you guys can notice the difference and see exactly what it is that we're talking about. So the main thing, guys, we're going to do is take this guy out real quick here. Um, the thing you're going to be able to notice is you're going to notice that one cool feature about this particular secret setting as well, it'll let you know when you need to play it up. Because one of the things I actually found when playing the game and playing with people who, uh, you know, join the stream. Of course, we help every one of you guys if you need help in the DMC. We're probably streaming right now, so you're probably going to want to stop by and check us out. But if you, you know, we're not live. We're live every day helping you guys get your M13s, helping you guys get your stuff. But the setting, what it's going to allow you to do, guys, is it's going to allow you to be able to identify what things need to be done in order to be able to uh, stay alive longer. So I'm going to show you guys what that is. Just going to kill this ad real quick. And I think there might be one more and we should be good to go. How come it's not letting me pick up the plate? And we're going to be able to clear this out real quick here. All right. I know he was here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Okay. So let's clear this guy out. Okay, we cleared him out. Now we're going to go in here and I'm going to show you guys what the setting is. Because for those of you who haven't noticed, uh, come on, boys. So I'm going to go in here. You're going to go into the menu. All right, you're gonna go to uh, you're gonna go right here. You're gonna go to settings. You're gonna go to interface, and within the interface, you're gonna go down here to the bottom, where it says horizontal heads up display bounce. Okay, so currently right now by default this is set to 100, and I want to know how many of you guys actually noticed the difference. Okay, so it's already changed. This is the way the game comes out with. This is the way the game is a standard. This is the way the game pretty much uh, just you know, by default. The majority I would say maybe. 98% of you guys are playing it like this without even noting, noticing exactly what has changed. So how many of you guys haven't noticed? I want to know, man. It's very interesting to see how many of you guys haven't noticed the actual difference. So I'm going to go back and change it to the way the pros actually play. And I'm going to explain why this is going to help you and why this is so important that you need to go and change it right now. So we're going to go back to the interface. We're going to go back to this one right here. And we are going to be bringing this completely down here. Hold on. Let's go to, in, are we in, in interstates? We're going to go to the hub. And we're going to bring this down once again all the way down here. And then we're going to go to this setting right here as well. And we're going to bring this all the way down. So you're going to notice that these are all set to 100. 
now they're all set to serial. So you're like, what exactly is going on? What exactly is going on, guys, is you're going to notice that now our information is right in front of you. If you go to your settings right now and you change this, you're going to notice something different. And the big difference is you're going to notice that now you're able to see your username a lot better. You're going to be able to see the mini map a lot better. You're going to be able to see your weapon and your uh, pr pretty much your stems or whatever you have, your secondaries a lot better. And the reason is because this setting in particular allows you to bring all the hub into the center of the screen. Now, what this is going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to know when to plate up. It's going to allow you to know if your teammate went down. It's going to allow you to know if your teammate needs plates. It's going to allow you to know more information a lot quicker without having your eyes go to the higher up portion of the screen to be able to see exactly what's going on now a lot of you guys who are playing on tv you probably are playing like on a 45 6, 55 inch tv and the majority of you guys have to be kind of moving your neck upwards to see exactly where um, what you call it, you know, where the raiders are going on or you have to move your, uh, you know, your neck up or down to see if your enemy went down if it needs plates. This is going to allow you guys to just get all that information just by looking at the center of your screen without having to make too much head movement. And in addition to that, it's going to help you with eye, eye strain as well because a lot of people suffer from eye strain because they're constantly having to strain left and right, right and left uh, to be able to see the hub. This brings the hub right dab in the full center so you guys can make better decisions, be better players, and overall just have a better all experience in DMC. Trust me when I tell you guys, change the settings and you're going to notice one thing and one thing only you're going to stay alive longer you're going to be able to identify when you need to push and not push because if your teammates go down or they need plates you're going to know maybe i should play a little bit more passive maybe i should play a little bit more aggressive so make sure you go and change this right now to become a better dmc player of course if you guys want more dmc tips like this how to become better how to become a better solo player and overall how to have more fun in the dmc which is avoiding death then make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live in addition to that guys i want to also recommend that you guys check out our live streams we stream every day and one thing I want to let you guys know, YouTube does a poor job of notifying when we're live. So join our Discord so you guys know exactly when we're live every single time. Or follow me on Twitter so you guys can get that notification. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video.